Now an Eyewitness News exclusive, historic catch. We were there as the first male great white shark was tagged in the North Atlantic. <laughs> His name is George. It's in honor of the father of the expedition's leader. And this 700-pounder may lead the crew to a great white mating site. We found that one of the reasons to restore the shark population is to help the food chain that's important to both the fishing industry and consumers. And one piece of that puzzle is the abundant seal population. New at 6, why the law that protects seals may be outdated. Walt Buteau has the exclusive story. A record number of harbor seals were counted in Narragansett Bay this year, but the gray seal population may be growing even faster. We found that out while searching for sharks off the coast of Nantucket. First, the catch that's been anticipated by O-Search for about five years. Oh, George. George, the only male great white ever snagged and tagged in the North Atlantic. <laughs> A male! Oh my yeah. God! A short time later, the hook barely wet, and a second great white is on the line. This one is a female that would be named Yeti. She's guided onto the platform, and with three tracking devices attached, Get her done, Yeti. she was released, joining George and dozens of other great whites now being tracked and researched around the world. Captain Brett McBride is the man on the platform who steers the Giants back to freedom. I'm in a position where I can do my little part to give back. Um, so that's how I look at it when this is all going on. It's really not a big adrenaline rush or anything. It's mostly I have a lot of weight on my shoulders to make sure it all goes smooth and the shark gets let go alive and, and healthy. O-Search is collecting data to help restore the great white population. They believe the food chain will be healthier with the shark controlling species that consume the fish humans catch and eat. Among the sharks' prey that some believe are out of control is the seal. So as the seal, as the white shark recovers, it will impact the behavior of the seal, and it will help the seal numbers. But you're going to see seal numbers rise from here all the way down through the eastern seaboard because their historic range is much, much bigger than it is. It's just now recovering. Crocker Snow is among the members of the Seal Abatement Coalition, also known as SAC. He points to Muskegon Island, only miles from where George and Yeti were caught. SAC says this and other areas are overrun by gray seals. Commercial fishing crews claim the mammals that weigh up to 700 pounds are depleting their catch. Even shore fishermen are competing with the seals who are seen bursting out of the water to take fish right off their hooks. Another concern is disease. Snow says one in five baby seals is infected with avian flu from drinking the water on Muskegon Island. To find traces of avian flu in 20% or more of the Muskegon pups is something that people at MIT, people at Woods Hole and other places are more and more concerned about. The seal is currently guarded by the Marine Mammal Protection Act. SAC is pushing for at least a dialogue about how to manage this booming population. A symposium on the seal population is scheduled for next month in Nantucket. While the seal population appears to be growing, we're told it could be years before the shark population is back to where O-Search thinks it should be. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. And our coverage continues right now on our website. Go to WPRI.com to see where George and Yeti are right now. That's right. We have a link of, to O-Search's global shark tracker. It maps out all of the tag shark's travels.